missing something in your life? Wake up with us. Good morning. Catch up with this morning show. They told us to come and assess his progress, which we've already seen, and he's not doing very well. He gets a seizure every single day, and they've now confirmed it's what they call refractory epilepsy, okay. which needs to be supported with surgery. Okay. Yeah. So now that means going into the brain and trying to see exactly what is happening there. So this five million that you're looking for, Veronica, itenda kusaidia upande gani na gani na gani? Number one, mm. the gadget in itself that needs to be implanted mm -hmm. is two, around 2.5 million, okay. the gadget in itself. Okay. And then we'll need to be in India for around two to three months. Oh my. Yeah, so there's oh flight my. costs, there's... Uh, yeah, of course, upkeep and all that. There's tests, there's mm. the surgeon's fee, mm. there's quite a lot in it. Okay. Yeah, but As a mother, now allow me to take it there now. What have you been going through? What have you been facing? Because this is your child, brought into this world looking very normal, come out to Guinea, and then suddenly this starts. For you as Veronica, what have you been going through? For me, it's definitely been a very, I think it's the hardest journey I've had to walk. I can only imagine. And uh, I'd say it's been a tough, a really tough time. Mm -hmm. And uh, every day you keep on asking God, God, why are you being so silent in all this? Mm -hmm. I mean, we've prayed. We've mm -hmm. People have fasted for him, mm. and uh, we still seem not to get where we want. It's mm. been a tough journey. He's actually had to drop out of school for now because mm, it's a risk course. for him. Yeah. yeah. And um, but then I thank God because he's given me some really supportive people around me mm -hmm. that have stood by me. Mm -hmm. Yeah. From my friends, family, my employer, yeah. even school, yeah, yeah, my church. Mm -hmm. Have you faced that one scary moment where we, you thought this is it? Yeah. I think the time he got to the 12 season and I'm looking at him and I knew, wow. Oh, and uh, like two weeks back when he couldn't in to walk or to move and he was just lying on the couch and looking at me oh and I'm God. thinking, what's happening to him? Yeah. And, they, and I actually got some blues in my being while I'm looking at him and they, there's nothing much I can do. He has fallen outside while playing and he is convulsed. Wow. Actually, the nanny said anesmia. Mm -hmm. So at that point, my mind was resting and wondering what is this anesmia because. Yeah. And at what age was Ethan he when was this happened? Three and a half. He was three and a half. And yes. how old is he now? He's four and a half. Four and a half. Yes. Okay. Yeah. So after that, what did you do? So I began thinking, who, who can I call in the estate? Mm -hmm. Who um, who is better place to place the picture for me to understand what is going on? Mm -hmm. So I, of course I was in a rush to get home, mm -hmm. but before then my friends had already gotten there, friends mm -hmm. from the estate, and took him to a nearby hospital where mm -hmm. they gave him first aid, mm -hmm. then took him to get through Skitangela mm -hmm. because he actually resided in Adelina. Okay. So they took him to get through Skitangela mm -hmm. where they requested for an urgent CT scan to mm -hmm. understand what was happening with the brain. Mm -hmm. So he went to Kitangela get through mm -hmm. Then they referred him to Mata, mm -hmm. so that's where we were admitted over the weekend. Okay. As they were doing CT scans and all. Yeah. But uh, on arriving at hospital, nothing else happened within the weekend. And uh, what the doctor had said is, if nothing happens between the weekend and Monday morning, mm -hmm. then we will be discharged. And that would have been just a normal fall and a convulsion from probably mm -hmm. the stress that went to the brain. And yeah. All. Mm -hmm. So on Monday morning, the doctor came, did the rounds and we were discharged. Okay. So as Ethan was having his breakfast, I was feeding him, mm. then I get to see what exactly the nun was talking about. Oh, the same day? Yes. Yeah. As you were discharged? Oh, wow. Yeah. The same morning, just before we began the discharge process. Oh, so my. we conversed again, and I could see exactly what the house help was talking about. Goodness. Yes. <laughs> now, at least now you have seen for yourself exactly what the nun was trying to describe to you. Mm -hmm. When we come back, we'll take a look at from what someone would think is a seizure mm. to something a bit more serious. 
how that now has changed your life, has changed Ethan's life, and the kind of help you're India na vitu kama hivo. Again, this- don't, don't, don't miss the best moments of the biggest mornings. Good morning. Energy, Energy. Breakfast Club. Waking you up weekdays from 6.